guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Francesca. My name is Anna Chiara. And today we will do a reaction to a video called 25 Best National Parks in the United States. Both Anna and I lived in the United States for quite a bit of time. We both live in the state of California, which is where we actually met, even if we are yeah. kind of neighbors, because we live literally uh, not that far away, one, one from another. But that's another story. And we're really curious to see what this video is showing and how many of these national parks we have actually visited because we visited a, a few of them. We were living, of course, in the West Coast, California. There's so many national parks around California, Arizona, Nevada, and all the states that are in the West, west side of the country. Um, and I have to say it's one of the best thing and one of the best memories I have about my time living there was the travel in national parks because it's just something that is so different to what we're used to yeah. in Europe and you really get to see things that you can only experience in the United States. I think nature is one of you know the biggest thing about the United States. When people ask me a recommendation on where to go I would almost say avoid the city and literally dive into the nature because it's so wild and Beautiful. It's beautiful. So yeah. yeah, let's jump into the video. But first, please subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. Like the video, and if you want, you can also follow us on Instagram. Let's see. I think this is Yellowstone. I you guys tell me if I'm right. <laughs> I saw your picture, and they look. Amazing, mm. but I've never been to Yellowstone. The USA is a really big place. Within the wide open spaces of the contiguous United States, as well as Alaska and the far flung islands of Hawaii, there's just about every climate and ecosystem you can imagine, from temperate rainforests and pine clad mountains to deserts and scrublands. Naturally, there are a lot of national parks dedicated to preserving the best that nature has to offer in the USA. Other worldly sandstone monuments multicolored hot springs, craggy coastlines, scorching deserts. It's all here. Have a look at the That's so cool because you can literally America. see so many different places yeah. in one country. They're so different from one another. You can have red rocks and then see colorful hot springs or rivers. It's just so incredible. Whoa. Yeah. And the density of the population is less high than like, where we live so you have a lot of these places where there, are, there is literally nobody yeah so Number just nature five, big bend the absolutely named big bend national park in texas is so i cool didn't know this one yeah me neither meander of wow that's really cool on one side of the river is texas usa and on the other side is mexico oh okay the oh that's cool Rhode island big bend is known for its diversity and has loads to discover on its many trails. The Chico's Basin is the most popular area in the park and features mountain views, but the Chihuahuan Desert, home to real-life roadrunners and coyotes, is really the place to escape into nature. like here in Italy when you see a squirrel you get excited because it's like wow oh my god a squirrel you are not used to it and then I moved to California and I had every single day a squirrel just living outside of my window in a little tree so I would see a squirrel like all the time and it became normal or we had deer staying in our backyard I remember the first time I went to the backyard and I saw a deer that it was like number 20 oh my gosh like I cannot believe it and then you kind of get used to it so I think it's a lot about national parks but also in like if you go a little bit outside the city, you can see a lot of the animals and a lot of wildlife. It's really cool. Yeah. Saguaro. Saguaro is home to the classic Southwest American cactus. Their iconic shapes of the park's namesake stand tall in this deserted area in Arizona. Divided into like east and west thing. portions, the two it's halves of the park are separated park, by the city um, of Tucson. Both portions of the National Park offer an abundance of trails amid its desert landscapes. The Rincon Mountain District is the larger eastern portion of the park 
and serves up adventurous horseback rides and camping opportunities. In the west, the Tucson Mountain District is spectacular and is well worth the effort. Wow, look like a little, a little bit like a western movie. Sometimes. Yes. You know. Very dry and the cactus uh, coming out, yeah. Number 23, Shenandoah. A breathtaking national park, Shenandoah is full of an abundance of wildflowers in summer. In autumn, however, the trees burst into brilliant oranges and reds wow. for some prime fall foliage. Situated 75 miles from Washington, D.C., there are lengthy hiking trails to discover in this national park. In fact, part of these trails make up around 100 miles of the Appalachian Trail. Hiking is certainly the order of the day here. The climb up the peak of Old Rag Mountain, for example, is strenuous, but worth scrambling for the views. For those less interested in hiking, the Skyline Drive means stunning vistas from the comfort of your car. Number 22, Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde is the perfect spot for adventures among nature and to understand more about mysterious centuries-old cultures. This is the site where ancient Puebloans once lived in their cliff dwellings. Where they went or why they left, nobody knows, but their houses built in precarious places can be seen to this day. Because of the important history, walking off trail is forbidden, as is entering the ancient dwellings without a ranger. Take the Mesa Top Road circuit that loops around 10 of the excavated pueblos and you'll be able to discover more about these fascinating old dwellings. It's a little bit, a little bit like Mumbai almost. Well, not exactly, but it's more historical. Yeah. Number 21. Death Valley. Oh, cool. Death okay. Valley been, National Park yeah, might yeah, sound like fun. somewhere that's quite hot and hellish, but there's actually an abundance of nature to enjoy before, here. There like are huge boulders them, seemingly lying around on a grand scale, canyons carved by gushing streams that slice so. through the land, sand dunes that actually sing, and soaring mountains to tackle. True to its title, it is nevertheless a scorching area one of the hottest spots in the U.S. The Dante's year. View offers a panoramic vista across oh, the I southern portion guys. of Death Valley Basin from atop the wow. Black Mountains. Wow. It looks like you're on the moon almost. Yeah. It's crazy. I think um, some spots or a spot in Death Valley is the deepest, I mean like below sea level spot on Earth. Oh. I don't know if I could explain myself. <laughs> but yes, I think that's what oh. I heard that you guys tell me if I'm saying something <laughs> wrong. But I think it's also known for this. That's cool. Number 20, Crater Lake. The only national park in Oregon, Crater Lake National Park, is named after the eponymous lake, formed by a huge volcanic eruption around 7,700 years ago. Oh, I remember seeing wow. pictures of this lake in the entire the United States. The there. sparkling waters of this magnificent lake itself reflect the surrounding craggy wow, mountain wow. peaks in its mirror-like surface for a gorgeous effect and some inspiring photo opportunities. Mm -hmm. There are over 90 million trails that crisscross the park, but most of these can only be accessed in summer as snow covers trails for much of the year. I bet the number one will be Number 19, 
Acadia. New England's one and only national park dating back to 1916, Acadia sits on the coast and boasts some dramatic views of this region's storied shoreline. Acadia National Park is all about rewarding mountain hikes, strolls along the shore, beautiful bike rides, and drives that will induce oohs and ahs. There's a surprisingly varied landscape to discover in this national park. From its dense forests and languid lakes to boulder-strewn beaches dotted with lonely lighthouses. There are also sandy beaches and islands, such as the famous Mount Desert Island, to explore here. National Park is a truly yeah. otherworldly place. Also because it's the something that we're, we really, really don't get to see. Yeah. Mars especially Earth, in Italy. The largest it's national park in Utah really is all general. about its canyons. These snake around its ancient landscape, which is also punctuated by thousand foot tall white cliffs above the Colorado and Green Rivers, as well as strange rock formations. The park itself is divided into four sections by both these rivers, forming a Y shape in this rocky, alien stretch of land. Island in the Sky sits in the middle and is the busiest part of the park. For good reason, the views are incredible. And I also think these kind of national parks, see again, like everything yeah. looks stunning on a sunset, especially when you, like the sun is illuminating these red rocks. Yeah, like but, yeah. I think these images really represent the United 17, States in a way Red for us. Home to the giant trees of the same name, the yeah. Redwood really National Park lies on the northwestern Pacific US. coast in California. Okay, it's home to some of the tallest trees in the world. No, There's an enigmatic have, mix here of lush to, coastal scenery in, and uh, lush prairie lands. I, I the redwood trees are also some of the most ancient trees on the planet, with branches covered in moss and ferns. There are plenty of trails to enjoy walking through the vast forests, which make for good days out. To really soak up what yeah. the park has to offer, it boasts campgrounds and backcountry sites for overnight stays. Wow. I will love this one. I think he's in Northern Number 16, Grand Teton. Grand Teton in the Rocky Mountains is a wild wilderness oh, I think of 12 I peaks drove sculpted through it to go to Yellowstone. This includes, of course, the Grand Teton itself, which stands at an impressive 13,775 feet above sea level. The beautiful landscape here is just begging to be hiked. There are captivating canyons filled with fresh forests to explore, crystal alpine lakes to marvel at, and fragrant wildflowers, which provide pops of color. This rugged land plays host to all manner of beasts, including elks, moose, and bears. Wow. That's cool. I never saw this. Number 15, Mount Rainier. The fifth highest peak in the United States, Mount Rainier itself is an icon of a mountain that can be seen through much of Washington state. Rainier is actually an active volcano that last erupted as recently as 1854. Close to the urban areas of Puget Sound, Mount Rainier National Park and its 26 glaciers is a hiker's paradise with fabulous hiking trails lacing the foothills and carpets of flowers blooming in spring and summer. Many people attempt to climb to the snowy peak of Rainier, but it's tough going. Only half the adventurers who try go the whole way. Cool. Yeah. Washington? Washington State. 
Number 14, Sequoia. This national park is named after another species of the Sequoia family, the Sequoia dendron giganteum, colloquially known as the giant redwood. Yeah, Drive through trees and huge ancient, ancient examples of the redwoods here characterize the park. In fact, it's here that you will find the <laughs> yeah, Sherman, a giant well, redwood sure that's claimed to be it. the largest living uh, tree on Earth. Oh, okay. The there largest are also living tree on Earth. 10,000 year old caves that hide supersized stalactites. For a breathtaking vista of the Sierra Mountains, head to Eagle View. Oh, so cool that you drive through the tree. Yeah. I remember I've been there with my friends and it was so cool. I remember that day we watched the sunset from an edge that we had this beautiful view of the sunset. It was just magical. I had great memories about this national park. Yes, Number just, like, 13, crazy. Arches. Another oh, of Utah's national parks that is made up of Martian badlands. Yeah. The sandstone landscape here That's is out of this world. Beautiful. There are a sublime selection of rock arches, striped pink and red buttes, as well as other strange and intricate rock formations. Landscape Arch is actually one of the largest natural arches in the world, oh. measuring in okay, at yeah, 306 crazy. feet across. This yeah. is an easy access national park with a selection of short hikes to embark on, but possibly more popular are rock climbing and canyoning. The Fiery Furnace, a famous formation, blazes orange and red as the sun sets each day. Very beautiful. Yeah. And even though there's a lot of parks with canyons or red rocks, to me, they are always different from one another. And Always beautiful. Always beautiful. Yeah. I, but you never get tired of it. Never. I think it's one of the most beautiful things I saw in the US was uh, canyons. I mean, I, I don't know, 12, I just love them. They're Glacier. Great. Glacier National Park boasts an outstanding natural world that has been, as you might expect from the name, carved and sculpted over thousands of years by glaciers. It's a land of dramatic rocky outcrops, snow-topped peaks, raging waterfalls, and beautifully reflective lakes. There are an impressive so amount of hiking too, trails here that wind a, like a arteries a of adventure around the jaw-dropping yes, landscapes. This is also the place where grizzly bears where roam in abundance in, in a dense I mean, mountain forest. Popular you know, scenic like drive mountain, going to the Sun Road is an excellent way to see the beauty of the national park without uh, setting foot out of your car. Rivers. I totally agree with you. And they're beautiful, I mean, you can't, yeah. you can't say no, but it's, uh, the canyons are different, I don't know, maybe they amazed us more, yeah. because it's literally something we never saw, never before. saw before. Yeah. It's like for someone that sees no for the first time, you know, <laughs> and for someone that lives in the mountain, it's like, okay, it's just no, but for someone who never saw some, time, some types of things, even while life, as I told you before, like getting excited for seeing a squirrel, is it's cool and I like it. It's like being kids again and you really get amazed by new things. Yeah. So I know what you're saying, like other parts, like this one that we are seeing, I think more of the East Coast Number 11, um, Rocky National Mountain. Parks are the one that are not One of the most spectacular slices of nature in Coast. Colorado, the Rocky Mountain National yeah. Park, is awash with imposing granite mountains, aqua-colored alpine lakes, and meadows that burst into life come summer. It's the perfect place for adventure amidst nature, with a selection of trails where you can find peace, quiet, and serenity. The wilderness of the national park makes it the ideal host for many wild animals too, like elk, moose, and black bear. Bear Lake, one of the 10 lakes in the park, is a famous scenic spot for visitors, where you can soak up views of the glacial valleys and mountaintops. Number 10, Everglades. 
a gigantic area of land that's as famous oh, as Grand oh, yeah. itself. Same. The Everglades National Park is home to vast tracts of swamp and the ubiquitous alligators that make the yeah. Everglades what they are. You can take a kayak out and explore the mangrove waterways for yourself, oh, slicing across kayak? the silent waters of the moon. <laughs> 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 I'd rather go with a guide. <laughs> yeah. the is where you can spot cold-blooded gators basking in the sun, and the eponymous that was really cool. I really like the Everglades. Friend. I you can love even head out on the yeah, 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 they make you take picture with a baby alligator, yeah. or they have other animals that they do a show with. Didn't really enjoy that part, but the ride with a boat that was just yeah. incredible. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but you saw alligators uh, during the. I don't remember. I think I didn't see any. Did you? I I, I saw one, just one, but uh, it was really cool. Like we were driving and then the boat stopped. Like oh look at that and the alligator just you know swim just around the boat oh, yeah wow. <laughs> it was really cool. Number nine, Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon I've been National there. Park is famous for its rock formations. Known as hoodoos, these spire-like sandstone rocks wow. so cool. into and so different from the other. See, and it's still landscape. rocks, but it's been sculpted over time really by these thawing <laughs> rocks. Yeah. It's morphed the Red soft rocks. sandstone into the marvelous <laughs> landscape it is today. There are various trails, such as the Rim Trail, weaving through the rocks. Bryce Point is the perfect spot for views out over the so-called Silent City, with the vista below made up of walls of rock and hoodoos looking like somewhere from another time and place. It's so incredible how nature can be. It, it almost looks man-made yeah. because it's yeah, this point, this spike coming out of the ground and that are, that are huge. Yes. Number eight, Hawaii volcanoes. Oh, Set wow. on the Big Island in the Pacific, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park cool. encompasses Mauna Loa. This massive volcano has a summit that, surprisingly, is sometimes covered in snow. The national park also features volcanic coasts made from cooled lava flows, wow. rich rainforests, magnificent cool green meadows yeah. in the mountains, and geological formations such as lava tubes. Kilauea, a shield volcano in the national park, has erupted as recently as 2018. Oh, wow. The last eruption quite literally changed the shape of the park itself, an insight into the power of nature. The park remains open, but some areas are understandably closed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Number seven. Carlsbad Caverns. Located 25 miles from a former ranch town, Carlsbad Caverns National Park is a network of caverns wow. and is, in equal parts, an eerie and incredible sight to behold. The main chamber of the cave itself, called the Big Room, is impressive to say the least. To access it, you can choose to take an ear-popping elevator that runs the equivalent to the entire height of the Empire State Building. Or you can take a snaking pathway into the subterranean abyss below. The big room is a cathedral-like opening, complete with a trail and the largest stalagmite in the world. Number six, the Great Smoky yeah. Mountains. This national park is a world of beautiful nature. Think verdant forests as far as the eye can see, glistening waterfalls and undulating mountain peaks. The forests themselves come alive in springtime, with a rainbow of wildflowers blazing between the trees. 
autumn brings the famous fall foliage for a sea of auburn, and winter is all about snow. Dubbed the Smokies because of the misty mountaintops, exploring this national park is like stepping into the past. There are still remote mountain communities who call this region home. It's a great spot to truly unwind and leave the modern world behind. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, Denali. Denali National Park is the monumental tract of land oh, that okay. makes up Alaska's yeah, most famous national park. The centerpiece, by a long stretch, is Denali. Formerly known as Mount McKinley, this towering mountain is the tallest in North America at 6,190 meters above sea level. It's truly a sight to behold, as the snowy tip seems to actually pierce the sky. Snowy boreal forests, Desolate tundra, wow. jagged mountains, and lakes all play host to caribou, moose, grizzly bear, and wolves. For those seeking true wilderness, this might just be the place. Yeah. Number four, Zion. Utah's splendid national parks don't get better than Zion. I've the red and white I cliffs and that, I, that make up I Zion Canyon the river slice at a certain into the air. They're edged by so green, hot. making for a colorful place to soak up this amazing wonder of nature. And there are some great ways to get right into the thick of things. The Narrows, for example, is a 16-mile adventure through the canyon wow. and along the Virgin River wow. at the base of it. Elsewhere, there's the Big Springs, a hike that weaves along the eponymous Fern Edge Spring itself. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's summer. <laughs> Number three, Yosemite. This famous national park is a popular place to explore some of California's best nature. There are giant sequoias well, we, that tower we into the air. Yeah, we the to too. There's the glorious green of the Yosemite Valley with its granite walls. And there's the spectacular Vernal yeah. Fall, falling 713 feet to the floor below. Yeah, Owing like to its popularity, one, Yosemite like National Park I mean, welcomes a whopping four course. million visitors. I mean, I, 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 you can it's great, but it's somehow similar to what we can see yeah. at home. So it, it didn't amuse me as the canyoning. That's yeah, no, I get same it. I was saying before, and we had this discussion that it was really beautiful, but not that far away from what we could get in Italy or places that we have around where we live. Yeah, um, I would say the waterfall was definitely amazing. Yeah, and the best memory I have about Yosemite. I remember one day we drove to Yosemite and it was really late so we started hiking up to the upper Yosemite Fall and by the time that we were getting down it was pitch black, like totally <laughs> dark. Um, it was kind of scary, we were rushing to go down and I remember I was there like so tired because we hiked all the way up, we rested like 30 minutes and then we started hiking all the way down and I remember when we finally got to the bottom, I just looked up for a second and I was like, oh my god, and I saw the most amazing sky, like yeah. the most beautiful sky I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Everything looked, it was like seeing stars, some looked closer, some looked farther, it was just so amazing and it really paid off the whole, <laughs> you know, strenuous hike that we did for the whole day. That was really amazing.
visitors annually. But thankfully, there's space for everyone amid the sweeping peaks of Half Dome and the gleaming lakes. The time that we went together, was it the time that we hiked up? Yeah, I remember um, going down and it was getting dark, so we had the flashlight. Yeah, and the, <laughs> yeah I, I, thought it was, I think it was that, that time. It, we were together. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. And I love the, the sky. I mean, I, I love going to the mountains and the evening because, uh, yeah, the sky, is, the sky is always great. You don't have um, illumination from street and houses and cities and whatever so the sky is always great but the best sky i ever saw was um um yeah in africa it was around the equator, equator and equator Equ equator line yeah maybe. yeah and uh so it w you we are used to see the sky above us but in that case it was like yeah, I don't know. It was just different. I don't oh know how God. to explain wow. it. Okay. Yeah, it looked like a dome above us, so it was uh, it was just great. Wow. Yeah. Number two, Grand Canyon. Yeah, no Renowned the world <laughs> over, the Grand Canyon needs no introduction. One of the largest the canyons in the world, it really has to be seen to be properly appreciated. Whether you visit the north, south, east, or west rim areas, it's always a giant sculpture of light and shadow that barrels its way across an awesome landscape. Around the national park that encompasses it, there are a whole host of trails and viewpoints. Cape Royal on the North Rim is a top vista for many major parts of the Grand Canyon. You can even reach down to the canyon floor over a mile down in some places via steep meandering trails. It's so cool because you can do trails above and see the Grand Canyon and you can see and you can do trails below like in the middle of the canyons. I remember seeing people that were hiking down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it. It's beautiful. I never really like it. Number one, Yellowstone. The granddaddy of American national parks, Yellowstone is the oldest in the United States and the world, having been founded in 1872. Wow. When it was I, first I discovered, this. stories of the magnificence of the area that, were passed off yeah. as lies and tall there was like You can see why. Erupting geysers here belt steam and water, such as the clockwork Old Faithful. There are boiling hot springs like the Grand Prismatic Spring. I would Thanks to differing temperatures to and minerals yeah, as I the water spreads out, this is a veritable rainbow of unbelievable US colors. There's even the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, a natural wonder in granite. This place is a true icon of must-see nature. Did you saw a bear? You did? Yeah, oh, I, I, I saw a bear there. A grizzly bear with, well, it was a mother <laughs> with the cub. cub. pictures just like this one and it was so cool you could see wild horses so many different type of birds and wild animals just incredible and it's so huge that it, the places in the park are so different from different from one another <laughs> so it's so many places into one national park Really, really cool. Yeah, we'll love to go there. We should go back and <laughs> yeah. to the US and <laughs> visit uh, again for you and for the first time for me, Yellowstone. It oh cool. yeah, I, I, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I mean, 
you show like like we said at the beginning, you show like the glasses really and how they say in the beginning of the video it's really different from one place to another so uh, you have cooler weather with uh, alpine type of uh, parks or really hot weather and canyoning and uh, Alaska and Hawaii I mean it's uh, and Everglades yeah it's crazy it's really really cool it, one of the like the things I like more about the US is this is you can find a lot of nature and very different from one place to another mm -hmm. so that's so cool okay guys I hope you enjoy this video if you have any other video of this kind that you want to recommend us please do in the comments and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.